Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stampin' with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I would like to welcome you to Craft Spot. Today, I have an online class for you, so that means that uh, the cards that I'm showing you, there is a class kit available. So we're going to do three different cards today, and uh, you. If you order the kit or if you you know participate in all of this you would get the kit to make six cards so you'd be able to make two of each of the three designs that i'm going to share today um, so six cards in total and the easy way to do that is just to place an order in my online store uh, minimum 45 dollar order and i will ship the card kit to you to make all six cards absolutely free so that's uh that's a great way to get the kit for free just place an order products that you want and need and uh, might have ordered anyway and just put in the order now instead of waiting a week or something. Uh, you must use my current postcode and I will put that in the description of this Facebook post after the video. I didn't get it there before so I'll go back and add it later. Quick apologize for this. Sort of trying a new setup yet again. Uh, it's not quite right <laughs> obviously because I have a light in my camera and it's probably going to be in my face <laughs> as I'm trying to craft but anyway we'll make it work for today so if you are on here joining me today do say hello let me know that you are watching and uh, we'll see if we can get uh, get this up here I'm also going to apologize because oh my goodness at 10 to 4 my next door neighbors decided it was time to cut the grass and you can probably hear that in the background and unfortunately because i'm at the cottage um, it, it's not that the walls are thin but the walls are thin i'm in the sunroom because that's where my uh, crafting happens while i'm at the cottage and the windows in this part of the cottage are just uh, those vinyl windows so they're they're not thick there's not glass and it's not the cottage is not actually very soundproof anywhere i don't know you probably can't tell but these used to be the windows before we enclosed the sunroom uh, there's it's just a single piece of glass they're not made for winter or anything so it's not double pane they're not overly soundproof so even in the back of the cottage you can hear stuff from outside so it's a cottage but we will we will craft on so <laughs> Let me uh, put this down and to get started. Alrighty. Okay, there we go. At least at least we have uh, we don't have a light showing in this. We have a little bit of a funky setup. <laughs> the phone's on an angle. I'm a little bit scared to touch it at this point um, because it's kind of working. <laughs> so we will uh, we will just kind of you know go with it. Okay. All righty. I think we are set. Uh, I'm just getting all these really weird messages on my screen. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. So today, um, we talked about placing that order, and I want to encourage you to place that order. If not today, excuse me, just going on. My cat is chewing on a water. That's never a good situation. Oscar, what are you doing? Sorry about that. He slept all day yesterday. I don't know why. His first day at the cottage, <laughs> the cottage air made him sleepy. I have no idea. But he slept all day yesterday, and, and now apparently he's energized and full of some beans. But he was chewing on the wire for my radio, so I'm sure that's not a good thing. <laughs> so back to the order. Uh, designer series paper is on sale just until Friday, and just till the end of the month. So you may want to um, add one or several packages, all different stuff, to your order. This one is called Masterfully Made. It's 12 by 12 designer series paper. And it's what I will be using for the cards today. And so I thought I would just show you some of the pieces. So here we have these, you know, the mountains, and this looks very deserty, y um, but beautiful and very burst on the back. So if you like that uh, 
that new color. There's that one. Oops, I didn't uh, I didn't separate this obviously. This is one of those pieces that um, you know you can cut and boom, boom, there's a card. And I will show you one of those in our crafting today. Make one of that. Some beautiful flowers just uh, scattered all around the paper. Then we have uh, just some mosaic colors, rainbow effect sort of thing. Oh, I haven't been showing you the backs, have I? So there was, this one is uh, Fresh Freesia and there's Pretty Peacock. So single colors on the back. This one, this with the exception of this one, <laughs> which has uh, the berry burst and the bath and, and then of course some flowers. And uh, I'm gonna say that's daffodil. It's very yellow. I don't think it's lemon lily. Looks a little dark. I could look at the package, couldn't I? Don't tell me what yellow is in here. What does this say? Uh, oh, it says lemon lime twice, but that's not the one. Oh, it does say lemon lolly. Hmm. Not positive, but uh, <laughs> could be. Anyway, it's quite intense, but it's uh, a nice bright yellow. This is a beautiful piece with all those little, they look like, um, it looks like a painting, uh, the little flowers. And then the back of this is pretty peacock with leaves and things. That's uh, that's lovely, but I'm sorry, I probably won't won't do anything other than use this side of the paper. I suppose you never know, but uh, yeah, this one's lovely. And then we have this piece with all the the flowers and everything all around it. So the interesting thing, oh, on the back we have uh, lemon lime twist. There we go. So the interesting thing about this paper is that you probably noticed that it looks like a lot of torn paper, especially the backs where they've just got strips of all different paper torn open sort of thing. And that is truly how they made this paper. Um, when they were designing it, the um, concept artist or the designer, I'm not positive who designs this, the papers, but um, they actually took strips of paper and tore them apart and, you know, laid them all out and then they were photographed and uh, boom, look, we have, uh, you know, we have uh, designers of this paper. And so where it looks like uh, torn paper, it <laughs> that's because it is torn paper. That's exactly how they did it. They tore paper and created designs and then photographed it and turned it into beautiful designer series paper. So it's always interesting to hear how the paper is designed from a behind the scenes sort of perspective. At least I think so. Anyway, so there is the paper that we are using today and it is on sale right now just until Friday, as I said, all of the designer series paper is 15% off. So you want to grab some of that while you can get it at a discount. Okay, so some crafting, let's get to it. Uh, sorry, I'm also just trying to scroll on to here because I lost, lost this thing, but I think it's back. The internet has been, it's not been stellar of late with the rain and uh, and the smoke, I guess, maybe the haze and everything. It's been a bit of a tough go for the internet up here. But anyway, so here is our first card. And this is cut from that piece of paper that I said, this is the paper you cut down. You know, you can cut the strip off and then you just chop it into cards. And that's exactly what I have done to come up with this. So this is a super quick and easy. Hello, Donna, welcome. And this is Lemon Lolly, uh, standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And uh, Donna, do you hear that lawnmower? Is it really loud in the background? <laughs> so I've got Lemon Lolly, which is the color on the stems. And then this is Lost Lagoon up here. So I have a Lost Lagoon layer that we will use. And I am going to stamp this with Lost Lagoon. So all of my samples, you may notice, uh, the sentiment is heartfelt sympathy. 
you probably recall a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that I'd been at a sale and was uh, just about got cleaned out of sympathy cards. So I'm trying to restock some of those. So all of my samples have heartfelt sympathy. And that is from the Seaside Bay stamp set. So beautiful, beautiful sentiment and uh, nice font as well with that one. So that's what's on all my samples. But for the cards that I'm going to craft with you, you don't hear it. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Donna. I'm so glad. <laughs> um, I'm going to use a stamp from the Cheerful Daisy set and we'll make birthday cards for the other three. So three three sympathy cards are made and now we'll, we'll move on to a happier celebration with a birthday card. So let's make sure I'm in the camera here. Lost Lagoon Ink and I have my wishing you the brightest birthday stamp. Easy set. And I'm just going to stamp this. Oh, sorry, a lot of a lot of glare when I have the, the lamp like this. Maybe if I move over to this side a little bit more, it would be better because clear blocks. Not working with the light right on. And hopefully I don't mess these up too much because uh, I didn't cut any extra pieces for sentiments. <laughs> just realized that. Hello, Dean. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We are just crafting from the cottage here on uh, what has actually turned out to be a fairly nice day. We've had a lot of rain lately, which is good for all the forest fires. Uh, and it was smoky this morning. They had called for low air quality or poor air quality and you could really notice it this morning but it seemed to have cleared quite a bit as far as noticing it it's still kind of hazy if you look across the lake it's not it's not a clear day and the sky is very hazy but at least it doesn't you can't smell the smoke right now that seems to have dissipated but i have heard the gta is very smoky and I've heard down London way it's even worse so thinking about all the people there so once I put this on here then I added my ribbon and this is actually parakeet party so it's not the lemon loaf or lemon lime twist but I thought it coordinated um, well enough that I could use it just to add a little bright sparkle and then I ended up putting gems on anyway because I look at cards now, and if they don't have gems, I just, you know, <laughs> I think they need something. So I go back and I add gems. So well, all of our gems and embellishments make me happy. But this one has extra ribbon as well. Just tying a bow with this. This is, um, this was out last year and it continued into the catalog this year. It is called, uh, metallic woven ribbon and it is available in all five of last year's in colors so the in colors are still here obviously they are here for two years so these colors are all still available so they kept the ribbon for our next year which is wonderful because uh, then you have you can use it for two years hello judy welcome well thank you we're just uh we're crafting with the uh Masterfully made, I think it's called. Uh, yes, masterfully made. It's the paper, if you've seen it in the catalog, that looks like torn paper. And it's very, very interesting. They actually photographed torn paper to make it. So <laughs> it's uh, it has an interesting story behind it. So the other thing I'm going to do with this ribbon is I'm going to put a blue dot on it. I did the uh, the bow separate, so it's a cheater. I didn't wrap it around and tie it because I just tend to make a big mess with that. So, so I do it the cheater way, but I'm also going to put a blue dot onto the ribbon towards the right side, just to hold it in place right about there. And then my sentiment is going to straddle it. And I think that's probably yeah, that's a pretty good placement. So I've got it stuck down. Okay, it's just stuck in that one spot. Flip it over, and then I'm going to add 
uh, some tape runner, get a mess with my tape runner, to each edge so that I can just take this ribbon and wrap it around and secure it on the back. Oh, careful because now it's sticky. <laughs> it's very sticky. Okay, so just so that I don't stick this anywhere that I don't want it, I'm going to attach this to my card base right now. This is, uh, I think I mentioned, yes, this is Lost Lagoon cardstock on the back. We'll just put this right down onto the card base and then we don't have to worry about it sticking anywhere that it should not. Touch my sentiment to my frame. White straight. There we go. And then I'm going to attach it to my card using uh, dimensionals. Get that onto here. Oh, bring this trash closer. Go. I'm just going to put that right down straddling the ribbon. Make sure it's straight. Oh. And then we're going to put the bow on. I'll put it on with a blue dot, but this knot is very tiny. So rather than just putting my ribbon onto the blue dot and picking it up, as we can with a thicker ribbon, I'm actually going to just kind of roll this blue dot up to make it smaller uh, so that it doesn't stick out past, past the ribbon and leave sticky stuff exposed on my card. So I just made it a little smaller. It's kind of like your regular dimensionals and your mini dimensionals. Maybe once, put the other one in the other This one, this direction. And then I did add some of these um, festive pearls and these are like a very pale green almost with a, a bluish tinge to them so they kind of coordinate with the, the lost lagoon they're not actually lost lagoon color but they uh they coordinate that was why i decided to go with these ones because i so i have the shiny ribbon i wanted gems but not I didn't want a lot of huge overpowering gems. Let's not going to go too far, see, right? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm just adding gems to me. There we go. Okay, so there is card number one. Set that over to the side. Uh, the second card. Same package of paper. I'm using the same master, masterfully made paper uh, for all of the cards. I haven't. Um, well, the other piece, the next piece uses a little bit of the one that shows the torn paper a little bit more. This one, I believe these were all made with pieces of paper, but you don't see the the torn edges quite as much. A little bit on the stems and some of the flowers, but this one just uh, this one looks sort of like a, a watercolor painting. So. So I have cut three strips and I cut the whole piece this long. This is actually four and a quarter. And then I trimmed some off the top and some off the bottom. This is a very small pattern. You probably wouldn't notice if I mix it up, but perhaps you can see if I get oop, a little bit closer this way. Um, this is actually cut right from there. And because I cut from the top to the bottom and then I centered it, this matches up. And there, the pink flower, there's just a tiny little bit of pink on this piece. So 
So it does all match when you cut from the top and the bottom. So that's that's what I did for that. I have a fresh freesia card base. And uh, the blue here is the new core color Azure Afternoon. It's just a, a beautiful bright blue. You can see here's a nice, nice big sample of it. So it's a lovely blue. Darker than a sky blue. Like it, it's one of those days where you go, oh, look how blue the sky is. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, it's a lovely blue. Okay. Uh, I just need to clean my stamp because I'm using the same sentiment and we don't want to be mixing in colors. Clean the up and ready to go. And we'll stamp it with this H word. Hopefully that's Of this over again out of the direct light so I make it clear. I don't know why I can't get my setup quite right here. <laughs> it's, it's really not a whole lot different than at home, but somehow I struggle with it. Okay, so there's that, and I'll just clean this one off because I'm going to use it on the next part. Clean the ink off of that. We will get this closed up. So then we just need to mount our strips here. So as I said, this is uh, this one is four and a quarter. So these are uh, three and three quarters. Yes, three and three quarters. And then these are just um, what and one and one inch wide on the paper. So one and a quarter on the cardstock. The standard standard border on the, the cardstock pieces. So. Really like this uh, fresh freesia on the back too, but, but I like the flowers on the front. <laughs> Sometimes I think, oh, the front is so lovely. How could I possibly, you know, show, use the back instead? But then sometimes it's just the right, uh, color or style or something to accompany something else you're doing. So then I do cave and it hurts to cover up the, the pretty, what you know most people would consider the front of the paper, but when the card ends up looking lovely at the end, then you sort of, you forget what you glued down behind it <laughs> and it doesn't hurt as much anymore. I didn't get that one quite centered. So I'm going to cheat um, because I could get out my dental floss and pull that off, but I am just going to take a little, a smidge, that cardstock measurement off. So just a very thin piece, take that off of there. And now it's, uh, now it's centered. It's one of those you can fix anything moments. I don't know, there's been a couple things that Seem a little tricky to fix, but that that one was not a good one. Let's see if we can get this one centered before we add it down. Sometimes I find it easier. I, I I don't know why. I don't really know what the difference is between holding it vertical versus horizontal, but I find it easier to center it if I have my long piece this way as opposed to this way. Anyway, just me. Go figure. And then we will attach our sentiment to the frame. So as I mentioned at the top, this is a card class. So if you place a $45 order from my online store using my current postcode, I will send you supplies to make six cards, two of each of these three designs. I will also send you the designer series paper. What I cannot send you though, of course, is stamped images. So you will have to use your own sentiments, but most people have sentiment stamps that shouldn't be 
too difficult for anyone, I don't suppose. And I will send you the pieces to stamp your sentiment on. I just can't send you a stamped piece. So you may have noticed that I put the center one down first, and it is just sitting on my card base right now. I haven't pressed it at all because I need to reposition it slightly to get everything even because right now I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So, but I do find it easier to put the center down and then uh, put the two sides on. It seems easier to, to get everything lined up properly. You can do it however you wish, however you find easiest, but I find it easier because really I want these similar width, which hopefully ends up with these similar widths. And I think it's uh, it also works. Maybe we put this one on the other side. But do we want to join? I mean, it just no. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we can do it right in the middle too. We might. We could even do it this way, but I don't think so. No, it's not. Uh, doesn't really work as well. That way. Okay. Dimensional. Just put some dimensionals on. Hello, Mary. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. This going. I'm being slow today, aren't I? Okay. Oh, I top. No, we're just gonna. We're just gonna go with what worked before <laughs> because then we just have to make really many decisions. And for this one, I have some pastel adhesive back sequins, and they have uh, blue and pink and gold. And this blue is uh, it's kind of um, opal-like in that it picks up all the colors. So it sort of picks up, you know, the blue like the paper, but it also gets the purple and stuff. So I thought they look quite lovely. And it worked nicely on there. So there we go. <laughs> you took a minute from cleaning, Mary. I would take um <laughs> take the rest of the day cleaning. That's not a fun thing. <laughs> yes, crafting is so much better than cleaning. Although I guess at some point we do need to clean. So this is our third card, and this one uses. Um, another one of the pieces of paper that you can just cut and section and end up with card fronts, but it has that torn paper look. So that was the, the one that I selected for this third part. And then I decided that I would add um, some daisy pieces. Oh, I thought I'd lost a piece. This is from the Cheerful Daisies dies, and I have just cut these in berry burst. And then I did the detail pieces just in basic white. And I did that because uh, when I did it the other way, it just looked like a lot of berry burst. So I thought this kind of went a little bit better. So we will just uh, glue these guys together. And I didn't put any tissue sheets on them because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. <laughs> but uh, if you order this class kit, I Placing an order in my online store, when you get yours, they will have adhesive sheets on them. So these will actually be stickers and it's super easy to adhere to your base layer. Not that difficult with uh, the liquid glue, but it's easier when it's more fun when there is a sticker. <laughs> the the little kid in me never stops loving stickers, I guess. That's pretty it. Okay. So for any of the, the great Stampin' Believers on here right now, just a reminder that our team meeting is tonight. And uh, nobody had let me know that they wanted and had a bunch of questions to ask or anything. So we'll just start at seven. Uh, you certainly can ask questions after seven. It's not like you can only ask questions from 6.30 to seven, but we'll start at seven 
this evening for that. So hopefully you will be able to join me. Now, kind of on the didn't really look at which way this is the right place. It kind of fits more than one way. And one seems just a, a little bit more correct. But I don't think you would notice even if you had it the opposite way. And then I have um die cut a couple of centers for my colors. Put the lid on my glue. And somewhere on here, many dimensionals because uh, these are a little bit tiny. So I'm just going to put one mini dimensional onto this. Did I miss? I did kind of miss. Good grief. I should leave it on the table. I was trying to see if I had it the right way up or not. There we go. Now you won't see the white behind the berry burst. And I'm just going to add that to this flower. And then I actually ended up putting two onto this one. So I'm going to put two mini dimensionals on here. And I will tell you why I used two is because this is layered. So there's some holes in the berry burst flower. And then there's some berry burst cardstock. And then there's basic white cardstock. So you have a little bit of layering going on. So I just wanted to make sure that wherever these dimensionals hit, Enough of them can adhere to my card um, and not fall off. Okay. Uh, oh, is your after? Oh, dear. Look at that. I don't know where I put that, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, hopefully, my card stock will cover it. I made this border a little bit bigger, but we will see. So, is your afternoon? And then this is Berry Burst. And Yes, we will be fine. Okay, uh, but what I'm going to do on here before I hear, I'm going to stamp my sentiment right onto the designer series paper, just uh, just for something a little different, something a little fun. So we go back to the birthday sentiment, and I'm going to put that right down near the bottom. This part is absolutely light enough that you can stamp a sentiment right on it, which I always think is kind of neat because then you have just the very subtle pattern in the designer series paper right near your uh, your sentiment, around your sentiment. Oh, there's the back. There's some of that torn paper look too. <laughs> okay, so we will get this attached to the very first layer. And then I actually put this whole layer onto my card base with dimensionals. Just again, just kind of, you know, because. <laughs> because why not? Where did my other, oh, it's hiding under here. Say, so where'd my other sheet of dimensionals go? Because I don't really want to use the minis for this. I'd rather use the the regular size. Let me just throw you in here to hold the center up. And we'll get this attached. So the uh, designer series paper sale, as I said, continues, but just until Friday, 15% off. And the uh, starter kit is also on sale right now. So if you would like to be a member of the Great Stamping Believers, we would love to have you join us and be part of our group. And to do that, you just need to have a shopping list, really. That's, that's kind of the only requirement. Um, $206 worth of product for 135 no tax, no shipping if you live in Ontario. 
Um, there is no shipping anywhere in Canada, but there are a few provinces in Canada where you do have to pay to, uh, provincial sales tax on that, but you do not in Ontario. So that is a smoking good deal. $71 of product for free. So, and it can be anything that you want. It's a great time to add tools to your collection. You can get, uh, you know, the big cut embossed machine, you can get the trimmer, um, scoring board, any, some of those uh, bigger ticket items are great to, to get in your starter kit. And then, uh, you know, if you ever do decide that you want to pull plaster, then you've got all those tools ready to use. And if you don't do classes, you can still use them, of course, for your own personal crafting. So you do not have to work this like a business in any way, shape, or form. You can just shop with a discount because you will always get at least a 20% discount. So uh, these are uh, neutrals, adhesive backed sequins, and so there's four colors. It's kind of copper, brown, gold, and white. So I put the brown ones on. I thought they, yeah. Uh, no, I, I like the brown with the berry. So that's what we're going to add. I'm just going to pop these into the center. So, um, yes, you do not have to uh, do this like a business. You can just, uh, you know, shop for yourself at a discount. You can, uh, you know, get your friends and family to order from you. But, uh, it can be anything you want. You can certainly run it like a business. And if you would like to do that, I am here to help you with ideas and uh, some ways to do that as well. And there's a ton of training that uh, Stampin' Up! has on their website for, you know, finding customers and how to, um, how to get sales and how to meet new people and how to, you know, Everything, anything and everything that you might want to know, you can find training for it. So um, there we go. So there's the third part. So there you have it. Those are the three cards. As I say, this is an online class. So if you place a $45 order from my online store using the current host code, I will send you a kit to make six cards, two of each absolutely free so let me uh, uh let me just come come back in here maybe i will push I will push the light up and hopefully it doesn't make things too dark that you can still kind of see oh oh my whole light is kind of loose and leaning maybe i won't touch that anymore at this moment i'm just going to kind of push it over there and hope it doesn't completely fall over before the end of this Oh, yes. Oh, you know. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of almost not in the picture. It's not in the picture quite as much as before. Here, I'll move over. How's that? <laughs> anyway, those are the cards. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do truly appreciate you being here and uh, love hanging out with you, love sharing crafting with you, and hopefully you'll, uh, you'll get some time to do some crafting on your own. Thanks again, and I hope to craft with you all again really soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.